me again. I figured out how to make the streaming of PlayStation 5 games over to the Steam Deck work over the internet. So this is going to be a continuation to the tutorial I made yesterday, which you can find here. If you've done that tutorial and follow along from that point forward, you will be able to stream your games over the internet to your Steam Deck and not just within your house. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> First and foremost, restart your Steam Deck into desktop mode. Once in desktop mode, open up Chiaki and make a note of the local IP address that appears in Chiaki for your PlayStation. For this next step, it would be ideal if you're familiar with how to configure port forwarding on your router. If you don't know how to do that, you may not be able to follow this next step as all routers are different and look different and configure differently. So if you've never done it before on yours, this is not going to be very helpful. But in theory, all you need to do is go to the IP address of your router and then log in. Find the port forwarding section in the configuration interface and then set up port forwarding to your PS5's IP address that you made a note of earlier for the following ports. Make sure not to miss port 9302, that's the port used in order to turn on your PlayStation remotely, so if you don't forward that one you won't be able to turn it on unless you're in the house next to it. Once you've finished configuring all those port forwarding rules, go back to Chiaki and press the plus symbol in the upper right corner. From the registered console drop down, go ahead and select the registration you made previously for the local network, as it's going to be the same registration, you're going to be using the same account to log in, etc. We're just going to be changing the IP address that we're using to connect from the local PlayStation's IP address to your internet provider assigned IP address so it can be accessible from the internet. To find out what your internet IP is, open a browser within your house, anywhere on any device, and type in Google, what's my IP v4? There are two versions types of IP address, v4 and v6, we'll be using v4 as that's the classical one. And once Google returns the results, usually the first link will help work just fine, and your IP address should appear in there next to IP v4. Make a copy of that, and paste it into Chiaki. And once you're done, press save. So now you have a entry for your PlayStation when it's locally on your network and another entry for when you want to connect to it outside of your network. So from the Internet, it should still work within your network, too. But why would you bother going all the way on the Internet just to come back to play your own PlayStation? You just use the local one. The downside is in the Internet version, it doesn't show you the status of the PlayStation, which is unfortunate. I haven't figured out exactly why that is but it's not the worst thing in the world. Now you'll see that if you try to double tap it slash double click it and basically run it, it's gonna throw an error. This is because unlike the local LAN version, this one doesn't know the PlayStation status. It can't know if it needs to say send a wake up package or just connect to it because the PlayStation is already on. So what you need to do for this one to turn it on is to right click that entry and then press the send wake up packet button. If the PlayStation is turned off, it will basically send up that wake up packet and it will turn on. If it's already turned on, it's not going to do anything. And once your PlayStation is booted, you can just double tap it slash double click it or multiple tap it and you're in, you're in your PlayStation over the internet. Works pretty well. One optional step in here that I highly recommend. By default, the controller configuration within game mode for Chiaki does not have any way to right click, which is a massive inconvenience if you're trying to right click to send the wake up packet. So what you need to do is to press the Steam button while Chiaki's running, it doesn't matter if you're connected to the PlayStation or not, and go to controller settings and to controller settings again and hit edit layout. And then under buttons, scroll down to where the buttons for R5 and L5 are. Those are the buttons on the back of the Steam Deck, these two. Let's start with R5 and tap, select it and tap add a command. Switch over to mouse. 
and select the right mouse click button. So now when you tap R5, it's basically going to do a right mouse click. Similarly for L5, you want it to do a left mouse click. So just do the same thing again, but selecting left mouse click instead of right mouse click. Then scroll down to trackpads in the list on the left. And then change the first drop down for right trackpad behavior from as a joystick to as a mouse. This will allow you to use that trackpad as a mouse on the Steam Deck rather than it being a secondary joystick, which you don't need. And then change the R click again so that it mimics the escape key on the keyboard as this will send a signal to Chiaki to, to basically emulate pressing the PlayStation button on your controller. And that should be it. Now you are able to right click to send the wake up package and then connect to your PlayStation from the internet and everything should work fine. It's not a complicated procedure. It's quite quick, but if you don't know how to set up port forwarding, it's going to be quite challenging to figure that bit out. I recommend maybe getting a friend to help you out that has more experience on how to forward ports. Because the problem is every router is different. They look different. They behave differently. So you won't know. If you've never done it, you won't know how to do it. And that's very unfortunate. But yeah, other than that, if you like the tutorial, like. If you didn't, dislike. Leave a comment as well telling me what was wrong or what was right. Because I like receiving feedback. And apart from that, I bid you farewell and enjoy your gaming. Peace.